Given that 2 cos x plus 50 is equal to sine x plus 40, show without using a calculator that tan x is equal to a third tan 40. So let's use the addition formula with the equation that we have over here. So the left hand side becomes 2 cos x cos 50 minus 2 sine x sine 50. The right hand side is sine x cos 40 plus cos x sine 40. We want to get it all in terms of tan. We want tan x and tan 40. If we were to divide both the left and the right hand side of this equation by cos x, this cos cancels, this sine x becomes tan x, this sine x becomes tan x, this cos x cancels. But if we were to do the same thing with cos 40, so divide both sides by cos 40, yes, this would become 1, this would become tan 40, but on the left hand side, we have cos 50 and sine 50. So because these two things are 50 degrees, we wouldn't be able to get tan 40. At least not immediately. We have to first convert these two things to be in terms of 40 degrees, so be either sine or cos 40. We can do that using a couple of rules. The first rule is this, sine of minus x is equal to minus sine x. And if you're not sure where that comes from, I'll just draw part of a sine curve. Let's say this is 30 degrees, let's say this is minus 30 degrees. Sine of 30 is a half, sine of minus 30 is minus a half. So we can see from this that sine of minus 30, which again is minus a half, is equal to minus sine 30. Sine 30 is a half. Put a minus sign in front because we want it to equal to minus a half. We can get a similar thing for cos. So the corresponding relationship for cos would be cos of minus x is equal to just cos x. And that's because a cos graph is symmetrical. So if you were to do, let's say, cos of 180, that's equal to cos of minus 180. They both give you the same thing. They both give you minus 1. We can then use some equations involving transformations, specifically horizontal translations. So let's think about what we can do to a sine graph to get a cos graph, and what we can do to a cos graph to get a sine graph. So if we have a cos graph, and we shift it to the right by 90 degrees, we end up with a sine graph. So basically this peak, which is at zero degrees, goes to 90 degrees. Similarly, if we move a sine graph towards the left by 90, we get a cos graph. So we can summarize that as a sine graph is a cos graph that has been shifted towards the right by 90, so that'll be x minus 90. And a cos graph is a sine graph that has been shifted to the left by 90, so plus 90. Okay, so let's now use this to convert the cos 50 and the sine 50 to be in terms of 40 degrees. So let's start with cos 50. Cos 50 is the same thing as, using this rule here, cos of minus 50. That's useful because if we look at what we have over here, to get minus 50 inside these brackets, x would have to be 40. This x would then be 40. So cos of minus 50 is the same thing as saying cos of 40 minus 90. 40 minus 90 would mean that the left-hand side of this equation would be sine of 40. So cos 50 is sine 40, we've converted that 50 degrees to a 40 degrees. Now we do the same thing with sine 50. So looking at what we have over here, if we replace the sine x with sine 50, the right hand side becomes cos of 50 minus 90. So cos of 50 minus 90, which is the same thing as cos of minus 40, and cos of minus 40 is equal to cos 40, again using this rule here. 
And now we have converted the cos 50 and the sine 50 to both be in terms of 40 degrees. Let's put that into the equation that we have over here. So let's rewrite that. That becomes 2 cos x. Cos 50 is now sine 40 minus 2 sine x. Sine 50 is now cos 40. And that's equal to sine x cos 40 plus cos x sine 40. Let's collect the like terms. So we have cos x sine 40 here, cos x sine 40 there. We have sine x cos 40 here, sine x cos 40 there. So I'll bring all the blue terms to the left. So take away cos x sine 40. We get on the left hand side cos x sine 40. Bring the purple terms to the right. So add the 2 sine x cos 40. We get 3 sine x cos 40. Now we can bring this cos 40 underneath that sine 40. Bring this cos x underneath this sine x. Bring the 3 to the other side. I'll do that all in one go. So a third sine 40. Bring the cos 40 over as well. The 3 is now on the left. Bring the cos x to the right. And this is then the right hand side is tan x. That's this. And the left hand side will be a third of tan 40, which is what we wanted to show. And for poppy, hence solve between 0 and 360, 2 cos 2 theta plus 50 is equal to sine 2 theta plus 40. Give your answers to 1 dp. So the equation that we have over here is pretty much the same as what we have here. The only difference is that x has been replaced with 2 theta. This equation can be rewritten as this. So therefore we can rewrite this equation as that, with the x being 2 theta now. So it'll become tan 2 theta is equal to a third of tan 40. That's what this equation will turn into. So tan 2 theta is a third of tan 40. A third of tan 40 is equal to 0 0.2797, etc. If we do inverse tan of that, so inverse tan of 0 0.279, etc., we end up with 15.63 degrees. We were solving between 0 and 360. And is it inclusive? It's inclusive for the zero end. So if you times both sides of this by two, we get this. So let's find all of the corresponding values within this domain for two theta. So a tan graph repeats itself every 180 degrees. So keep on adding 180 to this until we reach 720. We get 195.63375.6. And finally, 555.63. Divide them all by 2, 1 dp, and this is what we get. Finally, 277.8, those are our full final answers.